Doesn't that just look beautiful? So yeah, I made the bridge one wider. And I added a tree underneath. And I made a slight modification to the tree. Rather, I grew a tree on top of a tree. So as to make it come up here. I probably need to add like a leaf blocker here or something just to make it not look so squarish. There are actually just a couple leaf blocks here, so it kind of naturally was that way. Anyway, I am playing with a shader on, but no resource pack at the moment. Well, I have this. I have a sky resource pack. It does a few things, edits a few sounds, but I wanted to do a shader. Unfortunately, the shader does not work too well in the end, or the nether, but it does some cool things, such as this dynamic lighting whenever you're moving, and I think that looks really cool. Hopefully somebody will turn it to daytime, though. So, I was also able to get mending on the bow and the sword, so now they are going to not break so long as I, you know, maintain them, keep an eye on their durability. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, let me get over this hump and go underwater. That looks pretty cool. Just having that light shine during the darkness and this reflection of this beam. Yeah, I like shaders a lot. I think they look really cool. I know some other people on the Craft Theory server use them. But my question is, do they have any problems with the end or the nether? Like, I can go to the end of the nether just fine. It doesn't cause a problem navigating it or anything. But, it's like the entire thing is sky and fully bright. And it's like really blinding, unless you're in an enclosed environment. Oh, hello, skeletons! Um... Okay. Okay, come on, hit each other. Why aren't you hitting each other? I don't know what was up with that. I was right clicking and my sword kept on swinging. Huh. Well, anyway. Okay, we got another mending book. Let's see. I got a Death Strider on a book. Purchased from here. I don't need any more Death Striders. I could really use mending. Hmm. On that. I think that's what I'll do. These are not my diamonds, they're somebody else's. But the payments are supposed to go here. So I will also go ahead and pay. For this. Yeah, six diamonds for the Crimson Crafters. Um, yeah. Unbreaking will be handy with those boots as well. That's two diamonds. And I am running out of diamonds. So, that's something I'm going to have to do. Is more caving. Or strip mining. Anyway. Yeah, so... I'm going to go ahead and go back to my base, and I'm going to get started working on something else. Okay, like, see, here's what I mean. Take a look out there. That's the end. It's, like, so bright. It's not supposed to be this bright. And it kind of makes it hard to see whenever... I mean, they just look at the brightness of this. Your screen's probably, like, super, super bright. But you're indoors some, or you look down, and the brightness is not that much of a problem. Anyway, I didn't have enough levels to put this all this on here, so... I'm here to get some levels. I need at least six more. So these Endermen are not just one hit. 
And I don't know if that was intentional or not, but let's see, I'm breaking three will cost that. And this will cost seven. Uh, yep, I need a little bit more. And my sword gets healed in the process, which is really nice. I mean, just being able to do that's pretty cool. Okay. I got my... Oops. Got my boots. Now I can run across what... Ooh, I have not seen this before. I'm not sure I want to. Nope. I'm going to fall off if I do that. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so now I'm going to head back to the base now that I actually have... I do not need these Ender Pearls. Goodbye, Ender Pearls. Now that I actually have some boots that can allow me to run in water. And it's not going to be necessarily be useful for what I have in mind, but it's just handy to have in general. Just being able to not be hampered by water. I much prefer this to Frostwalker, to be honest. Even if I were lying, I'd still prefer it to Frostwalker. I would just tell you differently. I've not actually participated in the End Dragon fight. Nope, I did not intend to jump into there quite so soon, but alas. Yeah, so what I wanted to get working on... I go through potato so quickly. Is I still haven't worked out a design for that, but I want to go ahead and chisel this away and like go down to this level. And then build up a wall and bring the grass out here and chisel this back and chisel this back a little bit. So let me get working on that. Let me maybe make a little blah, 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 blah. make a little bit of progress. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. Being able to do this, this is so nice. Yeah, let me uh, let me make a little bit of progress. So I forgot about this. This is a roof to my farm underground, and I can't really dig this out because then the farm will be in the way. But I want to have this cool little scene right here. So I guess the question is, am I okay with this level? Dig this out and replace this with dirt. And let this... Well, let this really be the level. Maybe go down a block or something from there. You know... Let's see, let's go ahead and place the stone bricks here. Just to get a feel for that. Just to have this kind of wall. You're not supposed to go there. There we go. And then up here will be grass that'll grow over. And then mine this out. Just to get a feel for it. Yeah, I see this part of the farm there. I really like this little middle click thing to get the resources you need from your inventory. Okay, and then if I combine these picks, because they're about to break, so I get a little bit of breeze out of them, and I just come across here, I'm trying to do some stuff on camera because I do not want this to be a short episode, and I do not actually have a lot of time to record today. I have to go to bed in a couple of hours, and I still have to do some prepping for a trip I'm taking. Okay, yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I think this is a good enough height, I suppose. I don't know, do I wanna continue this along here? And maybe wrap it around here. Eventually. Let's see. Yeah, perhaps. But what about this grassy area? I'm thinking that I may just take this and terraform all this stone until it reaches this grassy area. I do it all the way over here. I'd stop at the mountain area. Or I do it up to a certain level. Is that a green sheep? That is a Black sheep, not a green sheep. 
Wow. So yeah, I mean, this cuts off here, so I got a natural grass boundary I can do this to. Huh. And then just terraform this entire thing to be a bunch of grass. I can probably actually get away with making some of this dirt, just putting dirt on top, versus actually doing anything else. I wouldn't be able to do it with over here, though, because I'd have to match this level. But I could do it for that area that's just over yonder. Get some more food in my tummy. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to go through a few more picks, but I think that'll be worth it. Just carry this. Well, let me chisel this back some. And then carry this on over here. Let's go ahead and just do this. Just do the outsides. We'll do something like that. We'll get rid of this protrusion. And I have any more stone bricks already made? I do not. But I have smooth stone. Okay, so we'll do this little number. And then, let's see, if we continue to put it on this level, that'll wrap around here. It'll wrap around there, uh, meaning that the one I'm standing on here will be the ground level, which is accurate. It's a ground level over there. So yeah, I can do that. I'd have to cut through here, most likely. Or go around it. Because what level would the grass be at? The grass would be, let's see... I'm also doing this part on the camera partly so I can have some record. The grass would be on this level. So, let's see, that is... 77. So... Sorry for the F3 screen being up. That's this level, that's this level. That's uh, this level. So, yeah, I mean, this would be on the level. This would be... One... Two... I uh, got night time. Really quickly. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'll do then. I will carry this pattern all along here. And then I'll fill this in with dirt. And I think that'll be my first thing to do, is to fill this upper stone area with dirt and maybe make this path a little bit more walkable. Okay, so let me do that. I will go ahead and take this bit of a break and come back to you when I have some more progress made. Hello, zombie. Having a little swim in my pool. Get dunked on. Haha. <laughs> I don't know if that's a phrase started by Undertale or if that's from someplace else, but I quite like it. It's odd enough. Anyway, so I ran out of dirt. I know, right? Take a look at what I got so far. I got all this upper side filled up. Wreath dirt. And I still got to do a little bit of terraforming on the sides, but for the most part, you can just run all the way around it, and we have this nice little ledge. Kind of connects into the side there, and I'll probably build this mountain up some more so that it looks more natural. But then right here you got this too high wall, and I'm going to have to move the grass out some to make it look more natural too. Especially right here. Especially here. Ooh, I got brighter. And I'm definitely going to chisel that out and, you know, bring the grass up or bring the dirt out like I was saying before. But yeah, that's what I got. As I hinted earlier, this episode is going to have to be shorter because I do not have much time to render and then upload it. Actually, technically, I could upload it tomorrow morning. 
Uh, but I want to have my computer shut down because I don't want to waste power for like a few days when I'm gone. Anyway, so yeah. I really like this. I'm still going to do some curved supports on the ends, but I think having this tree in the middle that kind of comes up over it to one side kind of adds that middle detail that I was lacking while still also giving me the tree that I wanted. Doesn't that just look pretty cool? Ah, uh, wrong button. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, so thank you for watching.